Ready? Go. All right, yo, welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name's JJ. In the Hunt is the name of the episode, and we're going to take a look at the hard off located in Narita, Japan. As you can see, this aisle runs deep. Now, unfortunately, I showed up like an hour before closing, so I wasn't able to film film uh, the junk section. So that's, that's pretty much the only thing we're going to see from the junk. But anyhow, look at this wall. So many loose carts, Nintendo 64, Super Famicom, Famicom, fully loaded. And on the little spindle there, we have Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Nintendo uh, DS, 3DS, PlayStation Portable, and PlayStation Vita. But anyhow, Super Famicom, where to begin? Just tons and tons of games. Now, the average price was about five bucks. There was a few that were... Uh, more than that and a few that were actually i think 550 was actually the the cheapest or the base price but you're gonna find all sorts of good stuff you know like super street fighter 2 breath of fire 2 um romancing saga just just so many to name f0 final fantasy uh, 6 and of course kabuki rocks i have no idea what this is but it, the little title there kind of stood out and it's an atlas game but we have Dragon Ball Z, of course, uh, the Super Bomberman games, and just so much. And like, I think each peg hook rough, roughly had about three games per hook. So, I mean, you do the math, it's gonna be just tons and tons of carts. And this is on everything that they have on display. Who knows what they have out in the back. But we have Final Fight 2 here. This is running about 16 bucks, more or less. Definitely a cool beat em up. And if you're into collecting for this stuff, you know, this is definitely the place to be buying. Um, and of course, we have Nintendo 64. As you can see, there's going to be all like pretty much all the major uh, first party releases and a few major third party releases like the Golem on there, the Star Wars Shadow of the Empire, uh, Mario Kart 64, and of course, Smash Bros, Ocarina of Time and Donkey Kong Country 64. And the same thing holds true for the 64. A lot of the average pricing is going to be about five bucks. Now, a little bit under here, uh, below that, we have my favorite game for the platform, which is Star Fox 64. And then, of course, we're going to make our way into the Famicom. Now, this is a system that I don't, that I'm not really nostalgic for, and I don't really collect for, but it definitely has a presence, and we have to film it just because. I mean, look at all this stuff. And again, you're going to find a ton, a ton of third-party releases like Top Gun as well as you know like your standard releases like the the Mario Bros games but so much in fact that let me show you a close-up here we have Adventure Island um, with Master Higgins doing his thing freaking sweet cover but beneath all of this freaking Famicom madness I found a little a little stash of soundtracks which is always nice to see because typically they do not have the soundtracks mixed in with the games and when I saw this I definitely wanted to film it to share with all of you now I do like uh, collecting soundtracks I don't have too many but it was definitely nice to see and I definitely wanted to browse this section to see if there was anything that I wanted to pick up now this here uh, Final Fantasy 8 this was going for five bucks and it looks like it's in pretty good shape it is missing something but I'm not quite sure and then we have uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. This is the sound and art collection. This is going for about 16 bucks. Pretty cool seeing that one there. And of course we had Mario Odyssey, the original soundtrack. Now this is going for about, about 20 bucks more or less. But anyhow, we're gonna make our way and just kind of browse and uh, see everything that they have in stock. Cause it's not every day that we see soundtracks. We have Final Fantasy X there. That's going for about eight bucks. And then we have Romancing Saga 3, again, eight bucks. And I'm not sure if these are, I think some of these could be, of course, scratched, you know, just being music CDs and a, a few of them being from like the freaking 90s. But here's one, the Final Fantasy 2 soundtrack going for 11 bucks. Definitely a freaking wicked cover. And as you can see, it has 49 freaking tracks. Of course, a lot of those tracks, a few of them are just gonna be a few seconds long. Um, you know just a quick jingle super quick jingle but we have persona 4 there for five bucks and a few other titles which i have no idea what they could be but definitely cool and i think there's a few more that i, that I definitely want to show like this tactics ogre i think this was definitely the most expensive at about 60 bucks now i have gone to a few game shops that you know kind of specialize more well before i say that bump of chicken five bucks come on 
But as I was saying, there are a few shops that kind of have, uh, they kind of specialize in the soundtracks and they could run into the hundreds of dollars. But anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at the games that are on the spindle. You know, we have Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, uh, PSP, and of course the 3DS. And just a ton of stuff. Um, I think the title that kind of stood out to me the most, which you'll see here in a bit, is going to be on the Game Boy Color, which was Grandia. Now, I had no idea that that was released uh, for the Game Boy Color. I, I just thought it was, you know, just the 32-bit consoles, the Saturn, the PlayStation, um, and whatnot. But there you can see Grandia, and it's only five bucks. I wonder if it's any good. Uh, I should have picked that up just to kind of, uh, kind of mess around with it. My Japanese is not the best, but you can get, I can get as far as to the gameplay and see if it's any good. But anyhow, a couple boxed games here. Nothing, nothing, I guess, to stand out besides that nemesis there. But I think, I think that one was going for about 20 bucks. And then we find our way back to the beginning. And five bucks for this Luigi's Mansion 2 as well as Super Mario 3D Land. So definitely a steal on those two. But anyhow, let's take a look at the boxed games. Um, not very many boxed games, but we're, we'll definitely take a look at least at the Super Famicom since we're still in the mood. We have Super Mario Kart, we have Final Fantasy V, Dragon Ball uh, Z2, and some more Final Fantasy action, Romancing Saga, and of course, the legendary Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for five bucks. Now this one is complete, and just look at that. That would look great in the game room. I already have a copy, so I left it for the next person. But there is Super Mario Kart here for about 11 bucks, Super Tetris 3, and then we have World Heroes. I mean, look at this. This is going for about 10 bucks and definitely a cool a cool cover with like the the cliche uh, 90s anime uh, style cover but this was definitely a cool game i still play it on occasion on the saturn and of course the legendary garo or fatal fury and final fight 2 which is going for a little over 20 bucks uh, the loose car as we saw was about 16 but then we have going on there a pretty cool title and another copy of super tetris and then Puyo Puyo Remix. So a lot of cool titles there. Uh, definitely a nice variety. Now here's one section that was I was kind of surprised. Um, not necessarily um, because it's Switch, but look how it's very slim pickings for the Switch. And then beneath that we have the Nintendo 3DS and that one's definitely uh, a little bit more fatty. But we're going to go ahead and skim over the Switch games. Um, as you can see, it's just going to be a lot of like the, the first party, a lot of the major releases. So nothing too special. Um, I was a little bit disappointed, honestly. But as well as with the 3DS, not necessarily because it was a bad, um, you know, like a, a bad selection. I mean, they had the major stuff like this uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. But the game that I'm looking for is Tekken 3D Prime. I definitely want that game. They had Luigi's Mansion for 22. We saw the loose cart for five bucks, so that's definitely a big difference there. But yeah, Tekken 3D Prime, I definitely would like to try that out. But it seems to be a little bit elusive. But they had this Sega 3D Classics collection for about 40 bucks. These are definitely going up, uh, volumes one, two, and three in Japan. But anyhow, we have a small display case. We had Metroid Fusion up top there for about 50 bucks, and and uh, F Zero there for about 40 bucks, and a whole load of uh, role-playing games mainly in the uh, Pocket Monsters, the Pokemon variety. And then again, slim pickings for the Wii U and the Wii, especially the Wii, considering how much it sold. So definitely uh, a little bit of uh, an eye-opener there. But anyhow, that's pretty much going to do it for the first part of the video. Part two, display cases. We're going to take a look at PlayStation games, all the sorts. And we're going to take a look at the game consoles. They had a ton and of course Sega and a few more uh, stuff. Anyhow, my name's JJ. Thank you for watching Retro Rewire and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Ciao.